Welcome, everybody, to the Penalty Box segment for Friday, October 18th. I'm Lawrence Presman, and I've got two NHL bets for you guys today. There's only three games on tap, and we're going to take apart the Anaheim-Colorado game, the San Jose-Winnipeg game. But before we get into that, a quick reminder, I've been uh, touting a special all week. It's uh, one of the best specials uh, we're going to have when buying my plays. I am regarded... Well, I've built my reputation on NFL and NHL. Uh, These are my two best sports to bet on over the last three and a half decades of betting. And we've got a buy one, get one free offer that expires on Sunday. If You buy a month of my NHL plays for $179. You will get a month of my NFL plays for free. Uh, My NHL is up units on the season. My NFL, I've won three of my last four weeks uh, of betting, and I'm, uh, I've am i got a really great card lined up for my clients this Sunday. Four plays, three of them side bets, 64% in ATS NFL bets over the last three years. So try to take advantage of that offer, everybody. Let's get into some actionable betting info. We're going to start with San Jose and Winnipeg, and here we got a huge line. San Jose Closing in on minus, I mean, Winnipeg, closing in on minus 400. It's minus 375, 380 for the Winnipeg Jets and a total in play of five and a half. And we're going to look at under the total in this game. And let me really bottom line this at 100 miles an hour. The Winnipeg Jets uh, are going to be an under team all year. This is a team that lacks scoring depth, but has exceptional defense and maybe the best goaltender in all of hockey. Uh, They have played... Um, three games so far this year, three games. They've allowed two goals in all three of those games. And that included two overtimes, which is half a period extra on top of all of that. So they've allowed three goals in two in three two goals in three games. And they've also only scored four goals in their last two games. This is a team I'm going to be looking to bet under all year long and tonight, especially. Now they play the San Jose. Sharks tonight. And the San Jose Sharks did go over the total in their last game against Chicago. Well, it pushed on six, but it did go over the number of five and a half. Before that, they played Dallas and lost 3-2. And then they lost 2-0 to Anaheim in the game prior to that. This San Jose team is going to struggle to score all year. And we've seen that already. They've put up only four goals in their last three games. But they will struggle uh, to keep pucks out of the net as well, which is why... I'm not going to look to bet them under all year long. I I think this team's going to be pretty close to even when all said and done. But when they're playing a slow-moving team that doesn't score a lot themselves, like the Winnipeg Jets, it really feels like an under to me. I think this game will end 3-1 or even 4-1. Both those numbers will get us under the total. Now we turn our attention to Anaheim and Colorado. And again, we got a really big favorite here with the Colorado Avs at minus 250. Uh, And I understand that play. This is an Anaheim team. uh, This is a Colorado team that really needs to win a game. They played four games this season and lost all four. But what is glaringly obvious to me is that they can't play defense. They just allowed Boston to put up five. When the New York Islanders get six goals on you, you've got problems. Columbus put up six. Vegas put up eight. So let me get this straight. In four games this season... They have allowed eight goals, six goals, six goals, and five goals. And it's not like they're not scoring. They put up four twice, three once, and two once. Where are we going in this game? We're going to take over the total of six and a half goals. Now, I know Anaheim is not a team that scores on a regular basis, but they just put up five against Utah, and uh, they have scored eight goals in three games this season. So I do think the Ducks are going to get us at least two goals, three goals, and I think the Avs are going to be able to put up a five spot. I think this game is around 5-3 Colorado, uh, so I have no issue if you take the minus one and a half as well, but I really do like the over in this game. Guys, thanks for watching, man. Let's have a kick-ass weekend. I got a 5% playing college football going tonight, Friday night. It's my second of this season. Uh, I got uh, four college football bets going tomorrow. I got a four-pack on Sunday in NFL, and I'll have NHL all along the way. Lots of love, everyone. Let's have a great betting weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.